Today I am going to be completely revamping my filming area. When we moved into this house about a year and a half ago, I set something up really quickly and it ended up becoming a mess and it's just not really my vibe anymore. I wanna change that. So I talked to you guys in a recent video about whether or not you thought it would be a good idea to do a lifestyle backdrop and so many of you said that it would be a great idea. So I thought I would bring you along with me today to create that and the process of making it. I think I am going to paint the walls. I am going to go to Target, buy some things and I thought I'd bring you guys along and we can shop together, figure out what to get and kind of the vibe and just make it a really cozy me representative background and start off 2022 in a really cleansing way. So let's go. Okay, so I'm in the home decor section of Target and I'm just gonna look around and see if anything strikes my fancy to what might look good in the background, so let's go. damage at Target. I got a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I thought I would just grab some stuff and if nothing else, this, these pieces will look cute in the rest of my house. So now I'm at the Home Depot and I am going to go in and off of pure vibes alone, choose a paint color. I think that I want to paint the background green. Um, I know that's a lot of green with like the plants, but we got the wood. I got the, the lighter colored curtains. I think it's going to work. Um, and if it doesn't, well, simply I will paint over it. I'm gonna go just walk in and pick the first color that sends me. I'm gonna bring you guys along. And uh, then we're gonna go home and do this sucker. Uh, it might take a couple of days because my husband and I have switched duties today. I let him sleep in, he worked out this morning, I made breakfast, I made lunch, and then he took over after second nap and I'm here doing all this stuff. We're, we're kind of making like a little rotation team work type of thing and it's working out wonderfully for us and no guilt for me since it's like equal so uh, i'm gonna go into home depot right now and uh we're gonna go choose a paint color so let's go upon first looking these are the two that i like they look so similar on camera, but they look so different. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what they were. I'm leaning towards Castle Stone because it's darker. I think I'm gonna do that. I had you guys vote on Instagram and you seem to be more into the Castle Stone as well. I'm just gonna go with it and if I hate it, I'll buy another gallon and paint over it. Here's the room after I've picked things up a little bit. This is my backdrop right now. I was initially going to paint this wall and have this be my background. And maybe I'll paint both of them just so that it's like a little more wide and then I can sit maybe like angled in the corner or I don't know. 
but I think I'm definitely gonna paint this wall and maybe this one. I've got a shelf I'm gonna put up and then potentially a plant here in this corner. I'm gonna paint this wall and this wall. I don't know, this just feels so nice and open and like I would maybe enjoy sitting up here a little bit more. It's kind of crammed the other way. Kind of have to like sneak by like this, you know? Yeah, I'm feeling like this is it. As you can see, it looks pretty good. It looks amazing in the background. I did a test and it looks so good. It looks exactly the way that I hoped it would. I've got some fake plants that I'm gonna be putting up there that we got at Target. I didn't do like a full haul or anything on here because I don't know what I'm gonna use. Like I got this mirror that you can see down here. I won't end up using that for this because I thought the room had enough space, but it doesn't. But I love it so much. I actually have this table here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but my dad actually built this table and it's beautiful. It's got like these black steel legs and then a wooden top. This is a shelf that I got from CB2 and I believe it is called the Helix bookshelf. And so I'm gonna mount that to the wall and then dress it up with a bunch of accoutrement and it's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. I absolutely am thrilled with the way that this has turned out and it looks beautiful in the background and I'm so ready for this fresh new change. So let's hop to. really nice in the background. I think I need a little bit more, like once I light some candles and get some lighting going over on this side, it's gonna just have such a warm glow to it. So I'm gonna go grab a lighter, light some candles just to see if it gives the vibe I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna test it with my camera. Which, if you guys can see, this is what I see here when I'm filming. I have like all of my settings on right here. And so I can see what I'm doing. I can see myself, I can see like, well, this will be where all the makeup is right now. This is where all the, stuff is but 
it's looking really, really good on here. And I'm really excited for this. Like, oh, I can't, I can't. I need more things on the shelf. It needs to be filled in a little bit more. So I'm gonna go downstairs and like pick from my shelf and maybe add some like mossy cuteness and just like try to really spruce it up so it's not just like thing, 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 thing. I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look a little more like, like it was actually like that instead of just placed there. And then we're getting there. Actually think I am done with the backdrop I just got to clean up the rest of the room and go through all my makeup now but backdrop is done so we can start filming and I am so excited so here's the finished look all right here's what it looks like I hope it looks good I hope I'm not too bright I may still have to mess with the settings with the lighting and everything to make sure it's good I've got my two big lights here I've got my backdrop which I feel like really represents me as a person I've got mushrooms I've got plants I've got warm lighting candles and it just feels like such a me background and I'm really 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 happy about it I hope you guys like it it might evolve over time if I find more things to add more mossiness more mushrooms I might just start adding more and more and more just the more that I go it's just what I really love and what makes me feel is representative of me as a human being so that's what we've got here and I hope you guys like this video I know it's kind of all over the place it was not filmed really well or cinematic or beautiful but I'm just doing what I can filming with my phone when I can and uh, trying to get you know things done i have gotten so much done in the last few days it's actually amazing my husband and i started doing this new sort of routine together which has really really changed the game in parenting it's been like literally life-changing it maybe sounds really obvious like why weren't you doing that before but we weren't like splitting shifts we've been kind of splitting off the day so that it's not just both of us together all of the time and then feeling like we don't have any time to do the things we want to do and splitting this time has been literally life-changing in so many ways in that I'm able to paint his entire room I'm gonna paint a mural in his room but I've already done the complete base coat in his room and I painted this whole area created this entire backdrop went to Target went to Home Depot like getting things done is an incredible feeling I wish I could describe so next on my list is to go through all of this makeup keep what I'm going to keep and then donate everything else to a shelter I'm going to donate and make bags what I have been doing is making bags for a local shelter and I found another one as well the women's shelter that I donated all the like I think I donated 36 makeup bags full the women's shelter there I really kept a lot of products out that I didn't feel would fit well for like the working mom which is many people that are in that shelter but this other one is for teens and so I have a lot of makeup that I feel like would suit more teenager type of skin or vibe and so I'm really excited that I can donate to them as well so I am gonna now my next videos are probably gonna be about going through this makeup showing you guys what I do keep and how I organize everything I've done these videos in the past but it's just really good it's like a cleansing it's I'm gonna have a system for PR that comes in and yeah it's gonna be really really nice so far this feels amazing to have this done and to have a space that now feels like it accurately represents me and who I am and isn't just this plain gray drab background that I'm not I'm not a gray drab background anymore there is many layers to this woman that, that you see before you and I just I feel like so much in me has changed in this last year and I just I'm so excited to change it up for the new year and bring you guys along with me and I, this was really really fun for me I enjoyed this so much it's very rare these days that I'm able to get into like a flow state um, I don't know if you know what a flow state is but it's like when you're working on something and you're able to just keep working on it and you get into like this state where you're like just go 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 you don't stop you don't get distracted you're just like on a vibe like living pure vibes 
that's a flow state and it's been so rare that I can get into that without an interruption, but I've been able to do that many times over the last couple of weeks, just being able to totally get into a flow state and work and work and work. And I was able to get so much done in such a short amount of time. Like I would have never been able to get this stuff done this quickly before. So I'm just super stoked about it. And I'm really, 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 really pleased with the way this turned out. I hope you guys like it. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And hopefully I'll have lots more videos coming out soon. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video.